Hi everyone and welcome for this uh, new tutorial how to paint uh, quickly the um, Moloch's mob from uh, Warhammer uh, Nightworld. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you all the steps, all the different steps with airbrush and brush uh, to paint in a very efficient way uh, your, ba uh, your band of shed spire. So let's go for this paint. At the beginning, uh, I primed in uh, ultramarine blue uh, from uh, Army Painter uh, all my uh, minis and now I start with some red. Uh, so this is a Grimson red from uh, Procolor. Uh, I use a lot of Procolor into my airbrush uh, because it's more easy to clean after, the, um, after I use my airbrush. <coughs> So at the beginning, uh, my red is going to um, uh, push uh, into my uh, shadow and on all the small and big mushroom on the minis. I'm going to make the same on the flying squig and on the different uh, minis. I always push um, uh, some step in airbrush, but uh, take care about don't push too much uh, and let the paint uh, dry uh, before uh, making uh, one more um, one more step. Uh, that will help you to have uh, um, to have a very clean uh, base. I'm going after that to add more red on every uh, miniatures. Uh, that uh, always depend on uh, how many parts I need to be uh, red. For example, on the um, on the two different uh, small uh, squig, I push a lot of red, the mushroom uh, squig and the flying squig. But the other one is not necessarily very red, so I'm not going to push a lot of red color on this mini. After that, uh, I'm come back with some uh, black color into my airbrush to push uh, all different elements, uh, for example, around the bows and make uh, more and more shadow on some small part. Don't hesitate uh, to subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't hesitate to post a comment uh, with your question uh, and all elements you, you need to, to start painting. The black color uh, is very focused in the shadow and all parts I'm not going to see uh, in the first step. And, uh, I always push some black around my base. After that, I come back with some white. For example, uh, in this case, to push my shadow on the base and on the smoke who 
come from uh, the the mushroom uh, squig. I make all the bays in gray too. And as you can see, I'm, I push some details. For example, the weapon of the um, of the troll takes some white too. It's very important to push slowly your highlights with your brush and make some layer and step by step push more and more your highlight. I will be present at Adepticon in Chicago this year and uh, probably at Gen Con uh, in Indianapolis. So Adepticon uh, is in March, uh, so it's coming very soon and uh, Gen Con is coming um, I think uh, uh, at end of year, so don't hesitate to come. I will be at uh, the booth of Happy Games Factory. I come back with some uh, flesh color. This is a flesh two from uh, Pro Color, and uh, that's going to be uh, my principal color on the flesh from the. Um, uh, the troll so every uh, other color is going to be uh, into the background of the um, of the of the flesh of my troll so it's going to be uh, something like a carnation of my uh, flesh color for my troll take care and go go slowly to be sure to uh, not erase everything you already do we always need to see uh the first color you push i come back with i come back step by step so first time um with um, a flat earth color into the flesh and a little bit uh, gr uh green color that's going to create more dynamic color. I had a little bit white into my flesh to create my second highlights on the flesh of my um, troll. Once again I'm French so sorry about my accent and my uh, English. It's not necessary uh, but you can see my uh, movements and uh, that will uh, help a lot. I had more and more grain uh, into the base to push something like a second light uh, will come from my base. I come back now with with some um, red ink. This red ink come from Army Painter. This is our, the name is Red Tone, and that will help uh, to create a more deep uh, and uh, develop all the details on the miniatures. As you can see, I'm not going to push my ink on every part, but just on some few parts. If you think you, you push too much uh, ink, you always can um, come with just water in your brush and remove that. That's not very difficult. I come back with soft, some uh, strong tone just to create more and more contrast into some area.
I push this on some parts I uh, don't really need to to have a focus on and as you can see on all the the, the extremity of the, the mushroom to create more contrast I come back now with some blue tone and I'm going to push this blue tone on every uh, on every shadow and on the I uh, on the frog he have in uh, in his hand I'm going to make the same step on the different minis for example uh, I push some strong tone but you can use flesh tone if you prefer on this quick and I'm going to make the same things on the two different squeak I push some blue tone into the smoke who come from the and same things for my flying squeak After that step, and when the paint is totally wet, uh, is totally uh, sorry dry, I'm going to uh, come back with some white. So you can use some ivory color, some arid earth from Army Painter, or just some white. And I'm going to push all my highlights on the minis. This is the most important part, and the most. Uh, the more long part, but that's very important to create uh, the dynamics and push more uh, uh, more um, more distinction between the different parts. I come back to create more contrasts into my green zone. You can use uh, snot green or uh, any uh, any other very uh, very um, light color to create the lighting uh, the lightning effect from the base. I come back with some black to create uh, directly some elements, some details directly in black to have a clear dis distension on some details on the mini. I come back with some red to push 
by contrast on the mushroom. I come back with in the first time um, with uh, some blue color and the step by step I'm going to add into this blue color some white to create all my highlights on the frog. If you can use some turquoise that will help you to have a clear distinction between the different parts of the mini and more I am going to push my highlight and more I'm going to add some white into my color And now I'm going to make the same on the flying squeak. I'm going to add more and more pre-red from Army Painter. And after that, I'm going to add into this red once again more pre-red to have a very, very clear contrast. And after I'm going to use some orange, some point of orange and into this point, some point of orange and uh, a little bit point of white into to have a very, very clear contrast. As you can see, uh, Army Painter is pretty easy to, to use because it's not very, uh, very covering color, so it's really more easy to make your transition. I make the same on the mushroom, on the base. I push some turquoise on some details to create a, a contrast into the minis and now I'm going to push a little bit more red again. Remember uh, the, the, I, I show you the step but it's um, it's in an accelerate mode, so take your time to push your shadow and your highlight in the good way. I'm going to start by pushing my uh, highlights on the base too. Directly with some white and I put some small point of white on every black part. I'm going to make the same step on the mushroom squig because the head is red so I'm going to push some red 
a little bit point of after I'm pushing my red and it's totally uh, dry I'm going to push a little bit point of orange and after that a point of white into my orange for my final highlight I push my highlight with some ivory or some white, all depend of the paint you have. Don't hesitate to use, you always can use um, different kind of paints um, and make the same kind of effect. The, the range of paint you use, it's not going to make a very big difference. The really big difference is going to come from your experience. So don't hesitate, more you are going to paint better better painter you are going to to be never forget that the most important is to paint every time you can so let's go for the last squeak that's really not my favorite but uh it's included into the band so let's go i'm going to use uh same kind of step but as you can see this one is very more simple so the paint will going to be very more simple so i directly come back with some ivory and i push some highlight on every um every uh recesses i think it's a word but Thanks for watching this uh, video tutorial, I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, so don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel, uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask your question into the comment zone, um, don't, tell me, don't hesitate to tell me uh, what do you want to see for the next one, um, and don't hesitate to take a look to my Patreon, uh, I'm going to make more video tutorial exclusively for my Patreon to show some uh, some um, good tips uh, to progress uh, easily and quickly and uh, the most important things don't hesitate to paint every time you can even if uh, it's for uh, five minutes uh, that's always a good thing so thanks again for watching and see you soon